What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now in today's video what I'm going to show you guys is how you can train consistently while on holiday. I'm here at Centre Park Sherwood Forest, there's not a dumbbell in sight but we're going to make it work. Here's how guys. So as you can see this is the extent of the gym, it's not an awful lot, there's, this, this can do incline, this can do chest press, incline and shoulder press as well. So that's alright in all fairness. We've got adjustable cables just like at home here and then a leg machine which we'll be using at some point as well. So what we're going to do is just make the best out of it. Oh by the way I'm filming on the GoPro, I hope you guys can see me and hear me. This teeny little tiny camera, I actually screwed myself over a little bit. Uh, told myself I was going to do a sense part vlog, make some awesome content. What did I do? <laughs> Left my camera at home. It's the one thing I actually needed to make this video for you guys. But I'm doing my best with the GoPro. So let me know in the comment section by leaving a like or a comment if you like the GoPro vlog. Maybe it's something I can do a little bit more. Slightly different angles, like wide angles and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments, guys. Let's get into the workout. So what we're going to do just to get things started, guys, is just do some general mobility. As you guys have been used to seeing in the last few videos, I just like to move my elbows, get some blood flowing, get some blood pumping into the joint getting ready for the hard movements. What we're going to do is move straight onto the flat bench press with the equivalent of the flat bench press. Really focusing on that contraction because it's a machine, it's a stiff movement, I don't really like them because let's be real guys, I'm a bit of a funny shape. So machines don't tend to work for me, I tend to prefer free weights but this is what we've got and this is what we're going to have to put up with guys. You've got to make it work, you can't, you can't complain, you can't just say oh I'm not going to go to the gym because they haven't got the right equipment. Just go, just go and make the most out of it and enjoy yourself because going to the gym is a fulfilling, enjoyable experience if you do it right guys. Next up guys what we're going to do is move on to some rows. What I've done this time is put the rope at about, sort of around about hip height, just a, just a comfortable level, probably a little bit higher than that actually. And then we're pausing one, two at the top, keeping those elbows nice and close. We don't want to flare them out too much. We start to bring in all kinds of different muscles. We want to keep the focus on the lats. I've decided to use a neutral grip, it really doesn't matter. Start with your hand here and pull. It really is that simple guys. People tend to overcomplicate training, especially when on holiday and they don't have the equipment that they used to. It's really, really simple guys. How do you train back? Pull something. How do you train chest? Push something. It's really, it really is that simple guys and it can be really, I what I want to get across to you and what I hope I can sort of show you guys on this channel is that it is a good enjoyable experience and it can be life changing if you do it right. So I'm here to help you guys, we're all on this journey together, love it. Straight from the row we're going to change the adjustable cables and put them round about shoulder height just so it's nice and comfortable, it's something you'll have to play around with, something you'll get used to once you've been training for a little while. I tend to put it just below shoulder height, just where it's comfortable for me. What you want to do is bring it back not too far that you start to put a strain on your shoulder. Again, I say this in every video guys, it's something that you have to figure out for yourself, it's something that just, it's just trial and error really. I find if I go too far back, I have really bad shoulder mobility, and so the, that just means that I get a little bit of tension, and it allow, doesn't allow me to get the full range of motion because I'm too busy focusing on how much my shoulder hurts rather than how good of a movement it is and really focusing on the contraction. So what you've got to do guys, just a little bit of trial and error, find out what works for you, really hold that squeeze at the top and make the most out of the movement. Next up I will say, no pull down machine, no problem. What you can do guys is use, just like what I do at home, I have the bar which goes across. Check out my previous videos to see that as well. Really helps you focus on that mind to muscle connection. What I've done, what I've decided to do today, just to mix it up a little bit, and because it's what's accessible to me, I've decided to just put the cable at the top and then row one-handed rows. You can do it with two, you can do it from the bottom, anything like that, but just to mimic a pull-up, mimic a lap pull-down, what I've decided to do is just do one-arm rows because that is the best that you can do in this given situation, guys, and so that is what I'm going to do. What I've done is just sat nice and comfortable, cross-legged on the floor, hold the contraction at the top, really feel the stretch in the lap, and then pull down from the elbow, squeezing the lap one, two at the bottom, guys. Same form applies, as always, just really focus on that contraction, and then you're good, guys. Starting to really get into it now, working up a sweat, really enjoying myself, guys. Just being consistent whilst on holiday is just like following the entire philosophy of this channel. What was the origination of LSJ TV? Consistency. Where are we now? On holiday, but we are still getting those consistent workouts in. I tell you what, it's almost as if you can tell, you can definitely, you can definitely tell you have an obsession with the gym when you're at a place like this and you still want to come and train and work out because that is, I can't explain to you enough guys, it is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle that you choose to have and it's a lifestyle that you have to embrace and just make the most out of and just because at the end of the day, what is it? It's improving yourself. You're going to the gym to become a better you. 
And so that is exactly what we're doing right now. I am on holiday becoming a better me. Next up, we're gonna hit some shoulders. So what I've done is just use this little bar thing here, as you guys can see, just to adjust it. It's a really good machine, actually, in all fairness. So it's not that bad as a gym goes sort of, sort of for a holiday destination. But what we're gonna do is really focus on that negative contraction. Again, I'm not, a, I'm not a massive fan of machines, but we are in this position. This is the best we've got, so this is what we're gonna do. There's not a dumbbell in sight, guys. So uh, we're making the most out of this workout. Really enjoying it. The pump is really, really good so far. My one form tip for the shoulder press will just be to come down as far as you can. Really feel that stretch. Really get that full range of motion as much as you possibly can, guys. Hold one, two, and then push right back up to the top again. That is how you're gonna break down as many muscle fibers as you possibly can get the most out of the movement and make as many gains in a short time as possible, guys. Right, now we've hit the entire upper body. I did a bit of a kind of improvisation, but kind of stuck to the, stuck to the routine as much as I could, as much as I normally would anyway. St did similar motions like a chest press, a lat pull down, stuff like that, and now we're gonna move on to arms. So what I'm gonna do is just use the cable pulleys like I have at home, put the rope at the bottom, do some biceps, do some hammer curls, focus on that squeeze, and then straight after that, what I'm gonna do is put the cable at the top and do some tricep push downs. Getting that full arm pump, no dumbbells, Bells, no problem. Just to point out as well, most places, whether you go on holiday or whatever, most places will have something, some sort of area like this, some medicine balls that you can use. See, you could just grab one of these, do some abs on here as well after a leg workout, something like that, or you could just focus on body weight. Something, it doesn't always have to be, oh my God, I have to bench press today. It doesn't always have to be, oh my God, I need to do a military press today. Like, it shouldn't be that way. I mean, it is, that's the way that most people think, and it makes sense because that, that consistent form of training is how you make progress, right? But at the end of the day, what did Arnold say himself? You have to surprise the muscles, you have to shock the muscles. So what are we doing here? Slightly different workout, mixing it up a little bit. We're gonna finish off with some body weight press-ups. We're gonna finish off with some more, I, d I haven't even decided yet. That's the good thing about being in a different environment. When you're at home, in the home gym, for example, you know exactly what there is, you know that there's gonna be no one else there, you know that you can just go in, do your shit, and leave. This is completely different. This is a completely different ball game. You literally have to almost come up with your own routine. I mean, there's plenty of cardio stuff. There always is. You never struggle for cardio uh, in a place like this, in a holiday location. You just have to take the chance just to mix it up a little bit, like I did with the lap pull down just now. Like I did a one arm lap pull down. Now, I've never done that in my life, but I decided to do it today just because it's something different and it's what's accessible to me guys. That is what you have to do just to stay consistent while you're training, while you're on holiday. So thanks so much for watching guys. That's gonna conclude this workout and conclude this video. Leave it a like and a comment down below. If you did enjoy it, I'll get back to you in the comment section as well. Been loving the comment section, the interaction with everyone recently. So thank you so much to you guys. As always remember, no regrets. I only get to finishing my workout. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you guys in the next video.